it's an exciting time right now at Stony Brook University with the opening of our new Marine Sciences Center here at Old Fort Pond in Shinnecock Bay. It's a world-class facility that's going to have a lot to offer not only our students, but other researchers and, and hopefully will attract researchers from other universities as well. The new building uh, is going to essentially serve three objectives, education, research, and outreach. Uh, and on the education side, we're confident that having this building now puts us in a position to say we've got the strongest marine science program for undergraduates on the east coast of the U.S. The new marine lab is located on Old Fort Pond, and the word pond is there, but it's not freshwater at all. It's actually just a tributary that then connects to the eastern part of Shinnecock Bay, uh, which is great because from there, uh, if we're on a boat going from there, we can be within the Atlantic Ocean with only ten, within 10 minutes. Uh, we can be in the Peconic Estuary within 10 minutes. Here we've got a complete uh, fleet of research vessels out in Southampton that really nicely complements the Marine Sciences Center. These are vessels that can accommodate over 30 people per vessel uh, and allow us to explore all these different estuaries, even the coastal ocean. So when a student is taking a class such as, say, ichthyology, they'll come down, they'll go out on a research vessel, they'll do some, some trawling, uh, some other sampling techniques. They come back to the Marine Sciences Center that has you know, state-of-art equipment that they can enhance that learning experience that they just had on the water. Primary objective will be on fundamental research. The center is also committed to solving the problems that result from society's uses and misuses of the environment. Research is one of the strengths of the new Marine Sciences Center. Uh, currently we've got a vast amount of research looking at uh, a lot of local uh, coastal bay and estuary issues, uh, things like the way that uh, modification of the land may affect what's happening in the water, so that is development, nutrient loading, and how that can lead to things like harmful algal blooms, uh, acidification of the water, low oxygen in the water, uh, and then how that in turn may affect very important fisheries, both shellfish and finfish, uh, as well as important marine habitats, things like eelgrass beds uh, and salt marshes. We are the uh, experts when it comes to all coastal marine issues. Uh, but frankly, we've built the capacity between this facility and our faculty. We've built the capacity in the past decade or so to be, really be the experts on, in the U.S., and specifically on the U.S. East Coast, uh, on coastal marine and estuarine issues. So I think uh, we're well positioned on that front.